Each time I build a new Squarespace site, I look for creative things that I can do that I haven't done for a previous client. When Capture Your Photos came along, I wanted to be a little creative with the text on her site because her business is all about categorizing photos, preserving photos, and sharing your photos. So think a digital scrapbook. So I figured out how to create vertical script text on Squarespace, and I'm going to show you how I did that today. We'll be utilizing Canva, Creative Market, and Squarespace to make this look. If you would like to join my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So essentially what happens when you want to add vertical text to a Squarespace site, you need to create a separate photo image. This is another reason why I suggest purchasing the business version of Canva and not just utilizing the free version. The reason why is when you have a business account or Canva for work, it allows you to save an image with a transparent background. This keeps you from ever having to hop into Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign or whatever else you're using to edit your images. And so you can do this very quickly. Now, what's amazing about Creative Market is every single week they send you free goods and you'll find the link to that in the top left corner if you're not signed up for their emails. So what inspired me on a recent project to do vertical text was this script text that they had available for free. So like I said, this week they gave away two fonts. They typically include a font as one of the six free goods on Monday morning. So if you haven't signed up, go to creativemarket.com and you can sign up for the free goods there. So again, when you have a Canva for Work account, you're able to also upload your fonts. So let's say for instance, we're gonna go into just a blank Canva uh, template. And I'll show you when you look under the font options, when it comes to script font, it's a bit limited. And you see these fonts all the time. I would say probably the most popular, if you just do a search for fonts, is the uh, playlist script. And so this particular font gives you that brush type look, but it is absolutely free and built in to Canva. So if you are not paying for a Canva work account, you could use the playlist script, save it with the white background, and you just have to use it on a page with a white background. So if you don't wanna pay the monthly fee, that's a workaround for that. However, if you are paying for a professional account, I would recommend using some of the fonts from Creative Market because they are a bit more detailed. These are actually created by users within the Creative Market community, and they have a lot more variation than what you'll find built into Canva. So here are a couple examples. If I go to the Capture Your Photos website, I created one that said, work with me, and further down here, I had about me. And so the whole idea with her basically being in an industry that reminds people of digital scrapbooks, I wanted to seem like she was literally writing on her website. And so that's why I chose to use a font from Creative Market. So when you go into Canva, what you wanna do is you want to create a design with custom dimensions. So you can click on the button in the top left corner or you can look on the top right and hit custom dimensions. So for the work with me font, the size was 100 pixels by 650 pixels. So we'll start one from scratch, do 100 by 650. And that's going to give you a Canva template that is that vertical shape. Now on a different website, the Faithfully Fit Army website, I did the exact same thing, but I use it horizontally. And so you can do the same technique, whether you want your text to be vertical or horizontal. So all you would have to do is switch the dimensions and make it 650 by 100. So if we go back to that blank design, just select your text, 
add a text box and type what you want to appear. So we could say, contact us. And so the default is for the letters to go straight down. So all you need to do is drag your arrow to make it a little bit bigger. And then we're going to simply rotate the text. Now, the reason why we want it to drag it is because you want that text to completely fill up the width of your template. And you can drag it until you see that vertical line that'll tell you your text is centered. So there it is. So then we'll drop it in there. And there is your element. Now, if we wanted to use the fancy script that I got for free from Creative Market, there you go. And you can see that that script font is smaller. So I would highly recommend sizing your font to completely fill up the space for your template. So when you're done, you're gonna click in the top right hand corner to download it. You want it to be a PNG. And again, you will have this option if you pay for Canva work, transparent background. So we're going to download that. After you download it, it will save it as a photo file. Now, I would also say if you are placing this text on a, a darker background, you could even opt to change the text to white so that it would appear white on the darker background. So that's an option. It doesn't have to stay black. All right. So if we were to go to, let's go to capture your photos. We're going to go back into her website and I'll show you how this is laid out. So if I hit edit, you'll see that I have added a spacer here to the left of her text and simply added a normal image block. So let's go ahead and upload the one that we just made. So it'll process and resize it. And as you can see, it fits in perfectly beside her text. So if you want to change the size of your text, you need to do that within the Canva template and then upload it as an image block. Now here's another thing you can do and I'll show you with Faithfully Fit. Underneath the header, we added in a little bit of color. Again, you can create whatever you'd like in Canva and it drops in as an image. So what I also utilized was the free good, the imaginary collection. And so this collection included a lot of patterns, a lot of shapes and textures. And so I took one of the textures and fonts from this bundle and used that on the Faithfully Fit Army website. So here is a sample of that. So what you have here is that same free font but behind it, we have a little shape. And so adding in that paint stroke behind the text really took it to the next level. So I love using Creative Market to find fonts and shapes and patterns and images because it helps me to take my websites to the next level. I also have my Eye for Ebony shop there. So if you need to utilize some stock photos with African-American models, you can head over to Creative Market and purchase one of the bundles. You can crop them, add text on top, do whatever you'd like to do in order to incorporate them into your marketing. So again, if you have not signed up for a Creative Market account, I would encourage you to do that. Get those free goods every Monday, and you may be able to utilize that on your Canva designs or on your Squarespace websites. So I hope this information was useful to you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would encourage you to do that because I teach people how to grow their biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.